Okay, here we go. This is a longer than usual screencast because we're going to do a project and there are several steps on a project. They're all explained on the SAM training, projects training and exams page on J.MP CIS 100 F14, which is pointed to on your Angel home page, course page. And if you go, if you come to the top of this, you can see you can jump right down there to projects and ePortfolios. And the reason I say and ePortfolio because you must save your project in your ePortfolio. SAM does not save it. And I, I'm going to go through each of these steps, and there are a lot of them. Um, so this is going to be a long uh, podcast. Let's begin it. So I put uh, project exam project 2A uh, due on the same day as the post exam Excel 2. Why? Because some people aren't doing the projects. Projects are worth nine points. Exams are worth five. The exams are only uh, can you just do one independent task in each of the tools. The projects are as close as Sam can get to a real life project where you start with a, a, a spreadsheet and you do work on the spreadsheet that has some meaning. Okay, let's go. So here's the project, project 2A. And here are the instructions. Do the project on your local computer. That means you've got to have Excel on your local computer. That means when you do an access project, you need to have access, and many people don't. Check now before it becomes a crisis. When you're finished with the project, it's saved on your local computer, you submit it to SAM. You go to results or reports and get feedback. You correct your errors that SAM tells you about, and you resubmit. And then you'll go back to re results, reports, and get feedback on what residual errors you have. You fix them, and you resubmit. And you can do that five times, which means most people can get 100 without a problem. If you get a 95, don't fight with SAM. You're going to lose. Just be happy with an A. Okay, we'll start. We will download our instructions. Now, I'm working on a Mac. Uh, those instructions are in Word, uh, and I have to save them and then go to my Finder and find them, which I will do. Uh, if you work on a Windows machine, uh, you can probably open them, and I would do that. Then I go get my personalized starter file. It's personalized. You can't save knit somebody else's files because your name is embedded in each of them. So I'll go to there, and I will save that file. Now, I'm going to go work on it, and then I'm going to have to come back here to submit it, to browse for it, which is where it's saved on my local computer, and then upload it uh, to submit it. So remember what window you are uh, working on, uh, because you're going to come back here when you're done and submit your assignment. So I'm going to quickly go now over to my Finder, and I save them in my desktop. And I get this spinning for a second, so you'll have to wait. And then I will open them. Let's try that again. Let's go back here. Date modified on the desktop. See, I run into troubles here too. Should say SC. SC. Oh, I'm on the desktop. Downloads. Let's go back to downloads. Here we go. I have to open that one and now come back to the, this and open this one. Spin, spin, spin. That's all right. It just makes the podcast longer. Okay. So here it is. Uh, so I'll move it over into my, our window so you can see it. Here is uh, Excel uh, Chapter 2, Project 1A. So it becomes 2A. I don't like the way they name it, but it's FlexCab. And now we'll have my Excel project. 
and here's flex tab too. And I'll move that into my window. You, you always get on top. You move on top. And then I'll use this edge here and fill the window up. Now, uh, you have a big enough screen, certainly in the library and most of the computer labs in Cranford, that you should be able to fill, fill them entirely. But this way, you can flip and flip and flip and flip. Cool. All right. So if, if you open them rather than downloading them, and that works fine, you may have a yellow bar up here. And um, let's see if I can do that. Yellow bar. Yellow bar up here. Oh, I don't want to do that. Anyway, can I undo that? I'm experimenting with the things here. All right, so let's, we, we, the very first thing we have to do is right now you'll see there's a one right up here. So we have to save, save it and change it from a one to a two. So I do a file, save as. Now it's important that you know where you're saving it. I am saving it in my downloads folder. It really doesn't matter what folder you save it in, but it is important you remember where they are. And there it is uh, with my name and a one, and I'm going to change that one to a two. And save it in the downloads, save. Okay, then it says change the style, do that. I, I'd rather you do that. I'm going to do this one. Switch to workbook sheet one. Now, if you start up here in documentation, don't get confused. You have two sheets in the bottom, so documentation and sheet one. And so we switch to sheet one. And in cell B13, use the sum function to total the values. So I'll go to cell B13, and I'll use the sum function, so I use formulas, that's a way to do it, and there's the different sums, and I'll go to sum. Hello. That's not how it should be doing, Howard. Hello, let's try it again. Escape. I'm going to go to E13, and Autosum, Autosum. And I get the marching ants, and it says B6 through um, B12. It doesn't appear well there. That's, it highlights those, and I like them, so I set, press Enter. And I do each of the instructions one by one by one by one. I'm going to change this last one. So I'm going to highlight this. I'm not going to do all the instructions. That's what you're going to do. Right click, and I'm going to copy this. So I've changed the name of the worksheet. So it was sheet one. I'm going to change it to revenue detail. So I click on it, right click on it, rename, and I have to use a control V to paste. Holding down the control and pressing V. Good. Blah, 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 blah. I will do it. Finally, I will save it. And I will now go back, as I told you, to uh, my browser window where I have Sam. I will browse for that thing that I made. And it should be on my downloads. And it has the correct time. Um, can you make it smaller? Yeah, I will. You see the time, there it's, which was just now, and I'll oh, click, click, and I will upload it. It's there, and I, I guess I don't even need to hit upload. It did that, and I hit submit. And he says, I didn't have any viruses, and it's the correct file format, and it's the correct size. And I close this. And now I go to my reports, and there it is. Uh, project, whatever, I just did 2A just now. Um, and I could go to Files and Reports. 
And unfortunately, I have to save it and open it. But I'll do that. And I'll go to my finder now. And that should be right there. And you see it has the name report, which is different from my file. It doesn't have the name report. And when I get the spinner to stop spinning, I will open it, click, click. And it is also a, an Excel file. Um, and it has lots of sheets on it. This has uh, my sheet. And you can see that I did that one total. And I, OK. And here's my graded report. And I'm not sure, and this, this is the done. So it said I, to do this. We said, remember, we skipped that first instruction. But it gives me a check. I did that right. And I should have done the very last thing right. And I did. There is, and here are all my errors. And I can go back now to my sheet. Not this. I have to go back and get my real sheet. Change it, save it, and submit it again. So, oh, maybe I'll do that. I'll do that. You know it's 11 minutes. We'll go back to the, the sheet. So I have to go to my finder. And I go to my sheet. Run, spinning, 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 spinning. Okay, and there it is. And I can go back to my directions. Go to my directions also. Let's fix something else. Center the cells in the range A5 through K5. A5 through K5. Oh, I'll highlight. Hello. Why is it doing this? Can I do this? A5 through K5. K, where are the K? And I want to center them. These are uh, centering top to bottom and these see centering left to right. And now they're centered. And now I save it. Let's do one other simple one. Change the width of column A to 32 pixels. Column A. You see the width up there being shown? 30, 30 oh, 31. There's every way I can do this exactly. I wonder if I can right click and do it. No, column width. 30. Ah, I can go 32. Let's see what happens if I do that. No, it's only going to do inches. Hmm. I'm not a real Excel person on, on uh, Mac. Here we go, 32. And I save it. And then again, I've saved it. I go back to my browser window. And I go back to the project. So I have to go back to uh, calendar and go back to the project. Hello. And go back to the project. It says I have four chances remaining. I go back and start it again. I browse again. And it's different time. There it is. And I submit it. I pass my virus scan and I pass my format scan. Blah, blah, blah. Done. I go to reports. And there is the second time. Let's go see if I did any better. And unfortunately, I have to save it. It's on a Mac. But you should be able to just open it because you're not going to type on it. There it is. Spin, spin, spin. Making my podcast longer. And it says, now I got a 21 and I forgot what I learned last time. I got this one correct. Where's that centering I did? Here's my horizontal. I did those centering correctly, etc. So it, it, I can fix them and fix them and fix them. I thank you for listening. I hope this will help. Done.